everybody so thanks for joining me in our next tutorial so today i'll be creating a half cut crease eye look and stay tuned if you want to see how to achieve a half cut crease and make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up off with that light orange shade for my transition color and it's from the morphe 35o palette and i'm using my fluffy blending brush and that's from a morphe brush set so i'm just using that as my transition shade and i'm just blending it at the outer corners and i'm not bringing it all the way inward just at the like outer v Then I'm moving in with the other um, orange shade and I'm just going to deepen up the crease some more. And then taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Self Made Palette, I'm using that um, gold shade for my lid color no not the gold shade i'm um, the hot cocoa and then the metallic plum for my crease color And then now to cut the crease, I'm using a I'm using an angled angled brush with concealer on it. You can use any concealer and any brand angled brush you can find. And then after I cut the crease, I'm going to clean it up and make it more um blended with another concealer brush. So to do this, you need a synthetic brush for this. And then taking the hot cocoa shade I'm going to place that on my lid but I'm not going to pull it all the way across because with the half cut crease you just want to put the shadow the main lid shadow halfway on the crease and I'm taking a shiny cosmetics eyeshadow brush you can get um, shiny cosmetics brush on Amazon or any other brush um, eyeshadow brushes that you have you can use And the eyeshadow brush that you're going to use it should be um like human hair like a human hair type and then i'm going in again with that chocolate shade from the anastasia palette and i'm going to darken up the outer corner some more and slightly bring it about quarter of the way inwards a tapered blending brush and this is by Morphe cosmetic Morphe brushes And then I'm just going to clean up my um just clean up the crease with the same transition shadow that I used before and the same um, fluffy blending blush brush and I'm going to highlight my brow bone with a lighter shade in the palette and then I'm taking my 
pencil brush to smudge some of that chocolate shade underneath my lower lash line. And I'm going to smoke that out some more with the orange. And then I'm going to apply my mascara to my bottom lashes to make them stand out. But if you want, you can always apply um, bottom false lashes. And then I'm going to highlight my inner tear ducts with the, the Balm Cosmetics. And then I'm going to line my lips with the Colourpop and Car no, not Karuchi. Colourpop and um, I Love Sarah here lip liner in mama seat and i'm taking color pop as well tool ultra matte liquid lipstick and i'm placing that in the center so that is how you got the ombre and i will link um the video for the ombre tutorial up top where you'll see suggested and i'm cleaning that up and make it more precise with a lip brush And now I'm going to clean up the outer corners with my the same angled brush that I used before and the concealer. And I'm just applying somewhere because I want it to look like an ombre, but it wasn't looking like that before. So I'm just adding some more of the same lipstick in the center to make it a bit more lighter. And I'm just going to blend it out with my fingers. And that's the finished look. Tutorial guys, thank you for watching and make sure to give this video a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.